Hi guys, so I went uh, bungee jumping yesterday for the first time. That was exciting. Uh, I did make it. Thanks, thanks for asking guys. I, I really appreciate that. It's, it's kind of interesting because you're facing fear in a big way. And I'm afraid of heights, by the way, so extra juicy for me. But it's so different than uh, other fears for me, like, you know, doing stand-up comedy or talking to girls. Those are the big ones. Because, you know, the fear there is like projection, people don't like you or whatever. And you're a big fat loser in public or in front of a girl. And, you know, but it doesn't, you can't die. You know what I'm saying? You can't actually die. This one, you can die. You're yeah, jumping off a bridge. You could die. So it's very uh, interesting. And I noted that in life, usually there's a battle between your, your instincts and your brain. And usually it's because we don't follow our instincts and don't actually listen to ourselves that we, you know, we aren't happy in life, right? Like our instincts know everything, but our, all the brainwashing in here and all the bad programming fucks us over. So for example, should I eat this meal? Ah, oh, yeah, my gut actually says I probably shouldn't eat this, but everyone else eats it, so it's probably fine. Um, should I go talk to that beautiful girl? Oh, I really want to meet her, but nah, no, nah, I'm probably, I need to make more money or I need to be more successful or whatever for her like me. She probably has a boyfriend, um, you know, it fucks you over. Everything. Oh, gee, I'm stuck in school. I don't like learning this stuff at all. And it feels like it's not right for me and that I don't need to do it. But, you know, my parents and society, everyone else wants me to, says I should go and do it. So I'm going to do it. I really hate my job. You know, I hate my job. But, uh, yeah, you got to pay your bills. Everybody has a job. So you just got to keep doing it because everyone else is doing it. Your gut tells you no, but your brain fucks you over. Usually that's the case in life. And I always tell people, connect with your heart, connect with your instincts and follow your instincts. But in this one case, it's very interesting because my instincts are like, do not jump off the bridge. What are you doing? And But logically, I understand like well, I'm, I'm attached to safety equipment, which is attached to a bridge. And um, it's a fucking bridge. The bridge isn't going to, I'm, you know what I'm saying? It's fine. And it's very interesting. And, and it's, it sort of made me more... Uh, aware of the battle going on between the brain and the and the gut, and I would just encourage everyone to be um, just to be, you know, in the moment and be present with like what are you actually feeling versus what is your mind saying? Because usually you need to be following what you're feeling, and that's usually going to lead you to your greatest excitement, your greatest path to your truth. That's usually the case. But once in a while, though, you might feel like, no, I shouldn't do this, but actually you should and it's totally and it's a growth like for example this it's a growth experience it's good for me to face that fear to do it you know i'm with a group of guys uh, it was for the infinite man uh, retreat so it's definitely good for me to do it so this is just one of those rare cases where the mind needs to conquer the the, the instinct uh, generally it's the other way around so um so yeah just bring that uh, into your lives and just be aware of who's running the show is it, is it your mind running the show when it maybe it shouldn't be or are you following your instincts too much and not uh not using logic once in a while when it's useful you know, I would ask everyone just to just to take a look at that and see where you're at. Uh, anyway, but that's just a few thoughts I, I wanted to kind of put out there because uh, I just jumped off a bridge and survived. But uh, now with that talk, let's check out that footage. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty crazy, right? Uh, and uh, and there's a funny story related to what happened on that incident, and I talked about that on the Sasha Show channel. Uh, so the link to that is below. And if you haven't subscribed already, do subscribe. See you later.